In this tutorial, we will look at the formula for VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a formula where we're looking up data in a vertical list. So go to the spreadsheet titled Data, download that from www.financialmodelingandexcel.com, and we're going to be looking at the page that says VLOOKUP. The data will look just like this. So here we have on the left side, this area right here, uh, a typical grading pattern that you'll see from a teacher, for instance. You'll see students' names and their scores. Well, what we want to do is we want to match up their score with a grading scale. To do this, we're going to use the VLOOKUP formula. We'll see the scale here in columns E and F, and you'll notice it's ascending in the fact that the smallest number is on top, and then it goes all the way down to the bottom number. So this is the formula. We're going to equals V lookup, open our parentheses, and the lookup value. This is the value we're looking up. In this case, it's score. So we're going to look at B2, comma, and then the table array. We can highlight the actual table itself. However, for simplicity purposes, let's do the entire two columns. And then that way, when we copy the formula, it will copy down perfectly. Next, the column index number. And this is the number of the value that we want to return. In this case, in cell B2, we see the number 60%. So we want that to have a corresponding grade. It's going to look for it in the leftmost column, which is column E, and then it will return the value that is in the second column, which is F. Therefore, we want to put a 2. There's only two columns. Therefore, we want this to be the second column. And then a comma. And in this particular case, it gives us two examples, true, an approximate match, and false, an exact match. In this case, we're going to use true as it's an approximate because we're not going to, we have a range, we're not looking for an individual score because they're not all listed. And if we hit enter, we'll see that that returned the grade of D, which is the appropriate grade. Now, we can copy this down and therefore produce the grades for each of those scores. Now, a couple things to remember here is that you need to maintain your scores going from the smallest number down to the top. And once, in this case, it looks from 0 to 0 0.59999999, uh, anything below that returns score of F. Once it goes to 0 0.6 and is between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7, it'll re return a score of D. And that is how we use the true command for VLOOKUP. Now we will look for an exact match. Before, for grading, we used an approximate match. So it's going to look for the closest number without going over. And in this example, we're going to look for an exact match. So what I've got here in column I is a list of customers. And I just made it very simple and called it customer 1 through 11. In column J, the state in which they reside. Now what I want to do is I want to match the region. And you'll see in column N, the state corresponding states, and in column O, the region that those states are in. So now, let's use our VLOOKUP, equals V lookup. we'll open our parentheses, lookup value, we're going to be looking for the state, so we'll select the state. Where are we going to look? Column N, and then O, that's the table array, and then we're going to, once again, return back the number that matches from column 2. But this time, we're going to type in false, where we're looking for an exact match. When looking for an exact match, the data in the table does not have to be in any order. It will look for it, the exact match, and then return the corresponding region. And we'll see how that works. We'll just widen that out, and then once again copy down, double click, and then we'll see the exact match. So if we were to say, this is called this a sales region, if we were to say that now Illinois becomes part of the east region, if we were to change this to east, you'll see that that data just changed. And those are two uses for the VLOOKUP. Thanks for tuning in.